One of the more popular packages available for Sublime Text is the Terminus package, the preeminent package for allowing you to have a terminal directly inside of Sublime Text. We've covered this on the channel previously. Today, we're going to cover some power tips that will take your use of Terminus to the next level. <music> Hey, hello fellow Sublime Text fanatics, Odat Nerd here. Welcome to this week's video where the topic is Terminus. Power tips related to the Terminus package, the preeminent package for displaying a terminal directly inside of Sublime Text. This package is absolutely amazing. It's completely free. It's cross-platform across Windows, Mac OS, and Linux. You can use it to make interactive build systems. You can use it to use a terminal directly inside of Sublime Text in a couple of different ways. And today, we're going to show you three power tips you can use to kick your use of Terminus up to the next level. Hopefully, these are the sorts of things that might make your life in Sublime Text and using Terminus that much easier. Now, of course, uh, we have covered Terminus on the channel previously before, so check down in the description of the video if you're unfamiliar with the package, how to set it up, some of the things we're talking about here today. There will be links to those videos down in the description. There will also be links to all of these sample files that you'll see throughout the video today down in the description as well. So you don't need to transcribe any of this stuff out. You can just jump right in and play with these if you would like. And of course, while you're going down there, maybe you want to thumb subscribe and share, ring the bell notification icon. Your support really does mean a ton. And one of the things you can do with Terminus is open a terminal inside of a tab. And there's a couple of different commands that do this inside of the command palette. And when you do this, you end up with a literal tab, just like you might have for a regular file, which means that you can use a split view if you're using origami or other view layouts to have a terminal on any part of the window that you like. You can drag this tag out and put it in its own window if you would like. You can close it. Uh, exactly the same things that you would do with any other kind of file. And what you can also do is instead open a terminal inside of a panel instead. Now in Sublime Text, panels go down at the bottom of the window. That allows you to have a terminal down at the bottom, still see uh, your files while you're working on them. Now if you should have to close this terminal, then you need to go to the panel chooser to get it back. And that's this icon in the bottom left of the Sublime Text window. If you're in Sublime Text 3, left click on this to open the menu. If you're in Sublime Text 4, right click on this to open the menu. This will show you all of the available panels from all of the packages that have some, including the default panels that ship directly with Sublime Text, like the Find panel. You can easily find the Terminus panel and click it and bring it back. So power tip number one is you can actually create a key binding to toggle a Terminus panel open and closed. And if there's not already one, it'll create it for you automatically. Now we have to admit that this tip on its own isn't uh, a super red hot secret because it actually appears inside of the Terminus readme. But all you need to do is open your key bindings and add in this simple binding. And now whenever you press this key, which uh, here we're using alt back tick that will open a terminus panel automatically just that easily and you can close it up and you can open it up again with impunity now as I said this is something that's directly into the readme so this isn't the greatest tip but as an extension to this and something that was asked recently on stack overflow is it possible to have multiple panels like this and call them up via key bindings because the particular user wanted to have a terminal for Git operations and still have uh, something else. And the answer to that is, yes, this is absolutely possible, and this is how you would do that. First of all, you need to come up with two keys. I've just used uh, two here, uh, very simple samples. And the secret to this is you need to provide a panel name to all of the keys that do this. The toggle panel command that's used in the default will open a panel if there's not one there and activate the most recently used panel if there is. If you're going to have more than one of these, you want to make sure that the key is toggling the exact panel that you expect. So we have that here. And now if I press the first key, I can open the first panel, type in some text, and type the other key. I will open a completely different panel, which I can type some text into, and then immediately easily call the other panel back up, and that text is there. And of course, both of these panels are visible down in the panel chooser as well. In all the examples we've seen so far, whether we open Terminus in a panel or we open it in a view, it chooses a directory to open inside of on its own. And this is actually something that's configurable, but if you don't tell Terminus where you want the terminal to open, it will choose a default location. And that is one of two things. If you have a project or some other folder open inside of the current Sublime Text window, then the very first one listed in the sidebar will be the place where the panel will open. Otherwise, it will open in your home directory. And of course, if you view the readme for this package, it will tell you how you can create one a key binding that will open it in the directory of the current file as well. However, we can take this one step further because we could actually include an option in the sidebar menu to open the Terminus terminal there directly. 
And to do that, we, we need a little bit of a plugin, such as the sample plugin that is available right here. And this is something that is a drop-in replacement for the terminus commands that you may be familiar with already, except that the location where the terminal opens is given in a slightly different sidebar-centric way. And it'll open the terminal in either a panel or a tab, depending on the arguments that you provide. Now, if you're unfamiliar with how to use a plugin in Sublime Text, not to worry, down in the description of the video, there's a link to a video that'll tell you how to put this in place. And if you are familiar, but you'd like to know a little bit more about how this plugin actually works, well, there's a link down in the description to plugin one, the video course teaching you how to become a package and plugin author in Sublime Text. But either way, with the plugin in place, we need to tie this into the sidebar. And to do that, we need to augment the sidebar's context menu. And we can do that by creating a file with this particular content. So we want to make sure that the file name is exactly as seen here, sidebar.sublime-menu. This should be inside of your user package, although it can be anywhere inside. I just keep it in the top level. Now, this provides us two menu commands that will only be available on directories inside of the sidebar, not on files themselves. The first one will open the terminal on that folder inside of a tab, and the other one will open it inside of a panel. You could choose either one or both of these. Delete the one you don't want if you always wanted to do it one way or the other. And remember, this command is a drop-in replacement for the terminus command. So, if you have very particular terminus commands that you like to use, certain arguments like turning on timing of things or making sure that panels get the focus, you can add those arguments in here in this menu directly as well. Now, if we were to right click on something and choose the open in a tab version of this command, then we will get a tab opening directly on that exact folder. We can also do the same thing with a different folder here just for example purposes and open it in a panel instead and we can see that panel open. And if I was to type just some random text in here, close this panel and do but again, we can see that what this is actually doing is toggling an existing panel or creating a new one. And when you use this to create panels, you will also see these in the panel chooser menu with the name terminus and the name of the pan of the directory rather that the panel happens to be open inside of. We have one more power tip to share with you in today's video, but unfortunately this won't work for everybody using Terminus in Sublime. This will only work for those of us using Sublime Text 4 and Terminus because it requires Sublime Text 4's ability to have multiple tabs selected at the same time. So if you're using Sublime Text 3 and you haven't looked into Sublime Text 4, this might be another reason to give it a look and see if it's the right editor for you. And this tip has to do with using Terminus in a build system to make it interactive and having a split view, which is something we've covered in a previous video on the channel, but it required you to use the origami package in order to change the window layout. And now, with Sublime Text 4's ability to have multiple tabs selected, that is no longer technically a requirement. And by way of example, here's a sample build system created using the build system for Python that ships directly with Sublime Text 4, modified to use Terminus to open the build directly inside of a tab, and also tagged based on the build that this is, so that Terminus will just keep reusing the same view over and over again. And uh, what we're going to be using here is Terminus' ability to execute a window command after the build has started, but instead of using an origami command to do this, we can use the built-in select to left command. Because when a new Terminus tab is created, it's created to the right-hand side of the current view, or it's given that focus on the right-hand side if it already exists. And this command will select the tab to the left, which will be the source code that originally spawned the build in the first place. And that allows you to see your code and the build simultaneously without even requiring the origami package, although I do still recommend it as a pretty handy tool overall. Now, one thing to note here, though, is that the way that this works, the tab will always appear on the right. So if you prefer to have a split tab with the terminal on the left, then you would still need to use the older method of doing this using origami. However, that's all we have for this video today. I hope you found this helpful and enjoyable and useful. And if you did, please use the buttons down below to show your support, to thumb subscribe and share and ring the bell notification icon. This is Odat Nerd. I'll be back next week with another Sublime Text tutorial video. And until then, I want you to please have a sublime day.